asking Zoe if maybe he'll see some bans in the future against that pick, but so far he's been allowed to play it a couple times in a row, has been as uh, Umti has been able to on the Nidalee. league. But uh, this is scary, I think, for, if you are a Fred Aprion fan. I mean, you're going up against Camille for Rascal, and just that alone is scary, alongside of giving away Talia to the side of Clid. So uh, that is a very scary top jungle duo that they are going to have to handle in this game. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a bit worried. Uh, there's a lot of question marks on the, the Fred at Brion roster, whether it be about the team themselves or about just the champion picks and what they've been able to achieve. But Rel has surprised us so far. And as we get onto the riff for game number two, but uh, is still able to get out of there. Flash forward here from the Rel, crashes down onto Ruler and First Blood going to the Aphelios. Life has to flash away. Dredgeline will get him to safety with the damage has been done. Yeah, and uh, you know, that's part of the power of the Rel. We saw that big, kind of wombo combo rel. It's not uh, too bad. Uh, bottom side of the map, biggest lead here is Henner is uh, about 400 in the lead. As, uh, there's the flash stun. Hextech ultimatum comes on in and uh, Hoy is dead. No seismic shove required. Beat it, uh, Clid was just there basically for moral support. Yeah, really nice bait from Rascal. I don't yeah, know if he's able to get a ton of damage down, but now they're fighting over this. Yep, another dredge line will come through here as Beat it is sitting on the shockwave. Is going to use it just on Lava there to pull him back out, and the Flash to, needs to be used, but it's not going to be enough to keep him. Player. Uh, I went on the Korean, I think it was Su Sunday Night LCK, that show, and they, they yeah, asked I remember me, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who do you think is the most underrated player? And I said Rascal, and they were like, oh, really interesting. Um, but yeah, the, guy, the guy's got talent. He's really, really good. As I say that, he's getting beat down right now. Yeah, we, we are caster cursing him real hard as he goes back in. Hextech ultimatum to try and avoid some damage, but that's just a solo kill, guys. I have a feeling it's going to be traded back here as Clid is going to turn up. Umti is in position, command protect, and now the shockwave comes through. Hoya uh, tries to... from that first blood turret, and they are just both massively ahead. Here we go again. Oh. Yeah, another crash down here from Delight as Life taking a fair bit of damage. Ruler does get out of the front line as Rascal's going to teleport in, but that's one versus three. The Nautilus will fall down though, but Ariana comes through as well. BDD mops up the Aphelios as Rascal so low, but still dancing around the fight. How does he He's going to keep himself alive, hiding <laughs> in the alcove. I thought he was burning to death, but nope. He's uh, just going to come trying up. to get in there as Gale Force is going to get him a little bit out of the way. Magnet Storm trying to work out there for Delight, but now Ruler gets underneath the turret. Life is going to fall, though, and the Curtain Call not He's even. Now Rascal looks for the Tactical Sweep, gets it onto Delight, who's uh, trying to canter away. One versus three is Rascal as he goes into the Hextech Ultimatum. He's dead, though. Um... Yeah, maybe a little bit aggressive as the NAR is good. Moonlight Vigil is going to miss those BDD. <laughs> Sidestepping beautifully. And he has a needlessly large rod. I mean, this so needlessly large. Um, and <laughs> a tier and a stopwatch. Okay, so like, this is this is like solo queue where that one guy just gets way too fed. Uh, except it happened here in a pro game. So much of their gold is on BDD but their other lanes aren't hurting for it, you know? It's not like only BDD is doing well, of course. Yeah. Everybody else also having a fun time in this one. Oh, okay. That is a beautiful deadly flourish. Rule is going to set up the kill, the flick back, and uh, yeah, the pick potential of this comp is so scary, but Fred at Breon had no right to be that far out. Ward over the wall. They're this just... is also a very fun Talia maneuver as he goes Ooh. in. Yeah, just not going to sit there. In fact, they're just going to kill Hannah. He's just dead, and the horse can't find the way in. Unfortunately, has Fred and Brianna are not scared. Uh, but Oya? <laughs> He's supposed to be tanky, guys. He's not. Uh, that's going to be a hookshot stun. He does manage to make it into Mega Nar, but it's not going to keep him alive. Clid's going to join the battle as well, as Delight does get a bit of work done there with his Magnet Storm, but oh, it's not the work that you really want, as Lava flashes the dredge line, but he's still going to get hit by the plethora of CC that this Genji roster has. Double kill for Rascal. He'll see to Umpty as well, as he gives him the good old thumbs up. There's the King's Own <laughs> banner as well from that? Rascal, just to add to it. I love it. Just uh, going back to the good old days, I guess, is what Rascal's saying. You don't have to tell that story for you guys. You can take a look at the scoreboard. And Maybe we can keep talking about Casper. Or brunch. I, mean, uh, <laughs> I was kind of okay with that. <laughs> yeah, <discussion>. True. True. <laughs> well, they're just going to take the inhibitor, it looks like. 
Right of Rion, don't yep. want anything to do with them. Yeah, that's gonna go down. I'm, uh... <laughs> uh... Looking forward to hearing about your brunch place a little bit later, but we are just gonna talk about the fact that this top inhibitor is going to be falling down first. And, uh, Fred and Brian just look like they have no idea what they're gonna do in the face of this, and to be perfectly honest, I don't blame them. There isn't really many options that they have. The wall is going to be put up here, uh, by Clid. It's not really gonna do anything at all, it's just gonna try and cut the Nexus in half. As there's the flash board, Magnet Storm doing some work as the Nah is going to be met with multiple oh, oh. stopwatches as Hoya does at, at least get a kill in the fight, but the flash is forward from Ruler, grabs himself a triple kill, and now the curtains are indeed called. It's a very, very fitting ultimate ability as the ace is going to be completed by Rascal. The Nexus Terrace will go down and the Nexus will follow. And Gen G, they start with two clean sweeps here in week one. Yeah, pretty easy game there for Gen G. 21 to 6 in terms of kills. As we're checking out uh, some of the stats here as well, um, a fair bit of damage done by Henna, but you can see it was all about uh, BDD's Orianna doing so much work in a lot of these fights and then the follow-up damage from Ruler as he got him, got online uh, later and later into the game. But look at that, there was some red parts of the gold graph. So, better than game one. Wow, <laughs> true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> early game, Silver linings. even up until, uh, you know, up until the last moment, so. Did you there forget you to it. peer Yeah, I again? did. <laughs> I'm not a very good Valdanalyst today in terms of the POG vote.